So welcome to this session. We'll give the solution to the cut that was done on 28th February 2022. So the first question is, in a group of 65, in a group of students, 65 students play football, 45 play hockey, 42 play cricket, 20 play football and hockey, 25 play football and cricket, 15 play hockey and cricket, eight play all the three games. So the question is to find the total number of students in the group, assuming that each student in the group play at least one game. So we'll say, uh, let F be the set of students who play football. Uh, let H be the set of students who play hockey and C be the set of students who play cricket. Now with the information given, 65 is the cardinality of F and then 45 play hockey. So cardinality of H is 45 and then 42 play cricket. So cardinality of C is 42. And then 20 play football and hockey. So football F intersect H should be 20. And then 25 play football and cricket. So F intersect C should be 25. Fifteen play hockey and cricket, so H intersect C should be fifteen, and eight play all the three games, so F intersect H intersect C cardinality should be eight. So to find the total number of students, then uh, if you are to draw a Venn diagram. So this is the inversal set. Then let this be the number of students, the set representing those who play football. And then let this be the set of students who play hockey. And then let this be the set of students who play cricket. Now, because none of the, all the students must play at least one game, then it means that outside these three circles is zero entry. Now, this is the point where all the three circles are meeting. So we'll put here eight. So at this point is where you have eight. And then FC, so FC should give us a total of 20. Uh, FH should give us a total of 20. So FH, so this eight plus this point should give us 20. Uh, should give us 20. So this will be 12. And then FC should be 15. FC should be 15. If this eight, this must be seven. And then HC, HC should be having a total of 15. So this is also seven. And then FC should be 25. So 25, this must be 17. And then the total for F should be 65. So this part will be 65 minus 12 plus 17 plus eight, which would give us 28. And this other part should be 45 minus 12 plus eight plus seven. When you work out, you get 18. Uh, this part should be 
c is 42, 42 minus 17 plus 8 plus 7, that should give us 10. So the question is to find the total number of students in the group. So total number would be 28 plus 12 plus 18 plus 17 plus 7 and then plus 10. This gives us a total of 100. Or you could as well do this question as cardinality of F union H union C by definition is cardinality of F plus cardinality of H plus cardinality of C minus cardinality of F intersect H minus cardinality of F intersect C minus cardinality of H intersect C plus cardinality of F intersect H intersect C, which will be given by 65 plus 45 plus 42 minus 20 minus 25 minus 15 plus 8, and the answer will still be 100. So you could either draw a Venn diagram <coughs> or use inclusion exclusion principle to simply get the solution for question 1A. Now question 1B, we have been given that A is a set having elements A, V, W, B is the set having the elements 2, 3, A, W, 8, and C is the set having elements W, Q, and M. So then the first part is to find A cross B union B cross C. So what you do, we get the A cross B and then unite with B cross C. So A cross B will be given by the set. So pick all the elements in A pair with everything that is in B. So we'll get A comma two and then A comma three and then we have a comma a and then a comma w a comma h a and then so we have done with s now we go to b we go to b will be given by v comma two v comma three v comma a v comma w v comma eight next w comma a W comma two and then W comma three and then W comma A 
and then w comma w and then w comma h now let's define B cross C would be the set two comma W two comma Q two comma M then three comma W three comma Q three comma M A comma W A comma Q and then we have A comma M and then W comma W W comma Q W comma M and then H comma W H comma Q and then H comma M. So then now the A cross B union. B cross C. Now will be given by all the elements in this first set, A comma two, A comma three, A comma A, A comma W, up to all the elements in A cross B. W cross uh, comma H, and then we come here two comma W, and then you write all the elements up to H comma M. But remember not to repeat uh, these elements. W cross W has already been taken care of this part and then also uh, the element a comma w has also been taken care in this part so you'll be writing all the elements in a cross b but you don't have to repeat this and this other one here so this set once you write all the elements you should find that you should have a total of 28 elements And then Roman two, A cross B union C. So A cross B union C will be given by the first step you define The first step define B union C, which is given by two comma three comma A comma W comma H comma Q comma M. And so A cross B union C will be a has elements a comma v comma w we cross with two comma three a w h 
q and m and so the elements in this set will be a comma two a comma three a comma a next will be a comma w a comma h a comma q a comma m and then we have v comma two v comma three v comma a v comma w v comma h v comma q v comma m w comma two w comma v w comma a w comma w w comma h w comma q and w comma m and then you write this bracket so this will defines a cross b union c the next session i uh, will discuss the solution to problem two thank you